Americans, go! <laughs> Hey guys, it's me here, and I've got a new DC Animated Universe film, Justice League vs. Teen Titans. And admittedly, that title's bullshit. Now why I say that is because that really only constitutes like 10 minutes of the film, that's not the basis of the film. It's just like I, the gripe I have with the Batman vs. Robin film, like, that's not the movie. That's 5 minutes. However, this film as a Teen Titans film is actually really good. Now, I really loved the television show when I was a kid. Admittedly, I didn't watch every episode, but I did enjoy it. I liked how it had good art style, good action, but it also had very comedic moments and very comedic sort of art style. And it would appear in probably some of the most serious moments, which would really, really make the show unique. This film, while it doesn't do that to an extent, it does get as close to that as possible. And it's pretty good considering the entire schematic of the Teen Titans is different. Damian Wayne is Robin and he's the new guy. They replace Cyborg with Blue Beetle and Starfire is the leader of the group. So it's interesting to see as different as the group is from the television show, how similar it is in aspects of the characters. However, no one is the same in terms of voice acting, obviously because we got Damian Wayne, Blue Beetle, all this stuff. But all the original voice actors from Teen Titans are on Teen Titans Go and no gripe against that show, but I just, I don't dig it. It's not like the original show. It's too kiddy for me. I, I just never have enjoyed it. So it's unfortunate to not see any of them come over. However, the voice cast really works. It's really interesting to see Starfire as this leader person, because you could kind of see that in the television show. She's completely oblivious of her sexuality. For some people, there's a certain scene with her Skype chatting with Nightwing that's really, really funny. Blue Beetle's really cool, actually I think he's a great replacement for Cyborg, and Beast Boy is exactly like Beast Boy from before, and seeing Damien as an asshole in this group is actually probably one of the most interesting parts of this sort of reboot, I would say, of the Teen Titans, because he's just such a jerk, and I've kind of always been there with the character in the previous films, but in this one it really works, because we actually see probably the most physical change out of him, and that's something that's always been the point of the last few films is that Ooh, Damian Wayne does something bad, but then he he and his dad make up at the end. But then in the beginning of each one, he's always doing a dick move to Batman. So maybe that'll happen again in the next one. But in this film, it works for what his punishment is to go teach and learn with the Teen Titans. As for the film itself, the idea of them fighting the Justice League, that's because Trigon's coming in and he's t possessing members of the Justice League and he's basically wanting to bring him into the realm of Earth and that's all through Raven. Now if any of you remember the Prophecy episode from the Teen Titans show, and if you don't, if you buy the Blu-ray, it's on here, the episode and this film are near identical. You just take out Slade and boom, you've got this movie. And I liked it. It's a much more mature version. We got to see Azareth be destroyed hella bad by Trigon. Also, Trigon is voiced by John Barenthal, Mr. Poster up here. But what's weird is this voice is so edited, you don't really recognize him. So it's kind of a lost opportunity. However, the biggest opportunity lost is the voice of Raven. Tara Strong was a great voice actress for Raven in the television show. She really added that kind of smoker's voice, but this hidden want for rebellion, but also she just had this, she had emotion to her character. Even if she tried to hide it, you could hear it in her voice. Admittedly, the one who they chose for this one, She's bland. She's so bland. Andrea Romano was not attached to this project, and you can totally tell because the voice acting for her is awful. At one point when she's talking about the end of the world, she just says it as though she's reading it off the page. And it's so bad. On it, That's the biggest takeaway from this film. However, the action is really good, and even though really half of the Justice League, Green Lantern, Shazam, Aquaman aren't in this movie, the conflict between those two is cool, but that's not the main focus. The main focus is seeing the Teen Titans as a reboot, basically, and seeing them come together and taking on Trigon, and it's awesome. I think it's really good. I think this is probably one of the better New 52-ish movies, even though this isn't really 52 material, but all the art style and the characters are. I think it was really well done. 
I did enjoy this film. Some of the voice acting admittedly wasn't the greatest, but I actually did enjoy it, and I am looking forward to seeing if they do something more with the Teen Titans. So anyway guys, for my review for this film, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 7. It's a very enjoyable watch, you guys will enjoy it. It's, like I said, aside from Justice League, Gods and Monsters, this is the best one that's come out in a while. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time.